Hey everybody, welcome to the last week of Leverage Your Life. Mm -hmm. You made it, congrats. Yeah. Oh. We hope that you have enjoyed uh, your time in this group. We hope that you have made some amazing relationships, experience breakthrough, um, have an awesome plan moving forward. And uh, for this one, we brought out the whole family. We're all here <laughs> and uh, we ended uh, Leverage Your Life with a challenge because it's good for us to have a challenge moving forward with all this information that we just received in our new plan. And so this challenge is inspired by Jen. Mm -hmm. So uh, Jen, what do you think God is going to ask us one day when we get to heaven? I believe that God is going to ask us, you know, what did you do with the story that I gave you? Who did you bring with you? Who did you share the hope with? Yeah. yeah. Jen, you always remind me um, that this life is temporary mm, yes. and that we have so much more living ahead of us in eternity mm. than we do here on this earth. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. I think of the verses from 2 Corinthians 4, verses 16 through 18, where the Apostle Paul says, therefore, we do not lose heart. What is he saying? We don't quit. We don't give up. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Amen. And here it is in verse 18. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary. This whole earth is temporary. But what is unseen is is eternal. Yeah. After our accident, when Jen came home from the hospital, she was so injured. Linda and I, we were still in wheelchairs. Josh was just a little guy uh, pushing us around. And before the accident, we always prayed around someone's bed at night. And so we tried to get back to that where we got our wheelchairs around the bed. Do you remember this, sweetheart? Yeah. And Josh would be there and Jen would be there. And I'd be rubbing Jen's feet for literally hours because she was in so much pain, had so many problems. And we'd pray for healing over Jennifer. And I'll never forget this one night when Jen opened her mouth and she prayed a prayer that Linda and I, we'd never prayed before. She said, Lord, have I met all your expectations today? Mm -hmm. Have I fulfilled all the plans you had for me to do today? She, even after a traumatic brain injury, was living life with an eternal perspective in mind. I remember um, that night you and I just wept because our prayers were always about ourselves. Like, Lord, help us. Lord, heal us. Mm. Lord, we want comfort yeah. here and now. You know, we all want com comfortable lives. But... God always answers for his greatest glory. Yes. And for years, I was begging God to heal you, Jen, and make you who you were before. Mm. But God had a far greater plan. You yeah. wanted to have a ministry yes. to the world. You yes. wanted to have boldness, <laughs> boldness. And now you have it. You're uninhibited. <laughs> but what we learned that night was that changes everything. That prayer yeah. changes yes. everything because yes. it's all about God. God, did I meet all the plans yes. that you had for me to do today? <laughs> that changes everything. That changes my purpose in life right. from being all about my comfort. Mm -hmm. um, and the difference is so often mm -hmm. we ask God for things we want. Yes. And then, Josh, we're That's disappointed true. when God doesn't answer our mm -hmm. prayers the way we want him to. I right. mean, you think about how messed up mm -hmm. that is yeah. when God has things for us to do mm -hmm. every day that will impact eternity. And there is no greater joy mm -hmm. than when you are sharing Christ with someone, um, when you're asking for mm -hmm. divine appointments. And, Jen, we mm -hmm. had this amazing opportunity to go to New York City oh, yeah. years ago. That's right. And you were secretively <laughs> praying that we'd get in the right yes. cab. Oh, yes. And I didn't know that, but there were all these yellow, yellow yeah. taxi cab drivers and we get in this car and the cab driver did something kind of crazy. <laughs> he handed me this old GPS, like a big clunky old yeah. GPS. And he wanted me to type in our address. <laughs> and I said, sir, we are staying at Times Square. Everyone knows where Times Square is. <laughs> and he didn't care. He's like, no, no type it in. And so it. I'm getting a little nervous <laughs> and um, I'm hitting the wrong, you know, letters. And 
He thinks I... I don't think he... Yes, he thought you didn't know how to spell. Yes. So he's telling her, New York, N-E-W. Yeah. yeah. And, and so in the middle back of back this... Back-to-back traffic. Back-to-back back traffic. And at the middle of this, yeah. um, someone calls him, and he's speaking in a language That's we right. don't understand. <laughs> and um, my friend's in the back seat, mm. Pam Foster's with us, and she's like, sir, we're supposed to turn right mm-hmm. here. That's what my GPS on my iPhone <laughs> is saying. And he's yelling at us, like, do you see all this traffic? I cannot turn here. And so I'm starting to get a little nervous. And I turn around and I look at you, Jen, in the back seat, and you're just glowing and smiling. And I thought, oh, good. Pam and I will be safe because we're with Jen because <laughs> I know her heart is good. And um, 20 minutes down the road, the cab driver looks at us and he says, why are you here? Why are you in New York? And I said, well, sir, I said, Jennifer, um, we were hit by a drunk driver and Jennifer was basically dead at the scene. And the power of prayer saved her life and God spared her. And we are here to tell people about prayer and and to speak at a prayer conference. And we're here to tell people that God God is is real. real. And do you know, as as we're driving, that cab driver sticks his finger in my face and he says, you mean to tell me that you know God? How long were you gonna wait before you told me about God? I need God. I need prayer. And you know, I have goosebumps all over me just saying those words. How long were you going to wait? There are people all around you that are desperate for God. That cab driver, he didn't know how to talk to God. We take for granted every day that we know how to pray and talk to God. And he said, well, I'm not a cab driver. And I was like, really? (laughs) I mean, we've kind of already figured that out. But he had lost his job. Mm -hmm. That was his ex-wife on the phone. He had been crawling around in pain, ill for for, a month. Yes. And this was his first day back at trying to be a cab driver. And Jen had prayed that the Holy Spirit would put us in the right (laughs) cab car. And and God did. And then we had to be obedient and share our faith with him. Mm. And how many of you are alive today? (laughs) If you're watching this and you're alive, um, that means God is not done using you on this earth. He has people in your life that he wants you to share Mm. the hope you have in Jesus with. Mm. And the question is, will you do it? Yeah. Mm. Will you do it? People are desperately searching for hope. Um, And you have the only hope Mm. that will change their life forever. And so the question that we want to present to you guys is we don't know what God's going to ask us one day, Mm. but what if he did ask you, who did you bring with you? What did you do with the story or the life that I gave you? Like Jen said, was it all about you or was it all about me? Mm -hmm. And so that's our challenge for you all today is who did you bring with you? Write it down, put it on a sticky note, put it on a a sheet, put it in your car, put it on your mirror. Who did you bring with you? And what are you going to do today to leverage your life? That's our challenge for you. And the greatest part about this whole group is we don't want it to end, right? God has put you in this group with the people that are sitting next to you Um, for a time as this to go out. So we encourage you, just like we put in this week, to don't isolate after this group. Come together, still be a group, form a a group text, pray for each other, um, hold each other accountable. Don't just let this be six weeks and then you're done. Live this study out and hold each other accountable. Meet up, go to dinner, talk about how God is using your a uh, certain circumstance or just hobby to leverage those, um, to leverage to the people in your life and to ask each other to pray when you have a hope, uh, to share in your hope out loud moment. And so, uh, again, do not isolate after this group. We hope that you have really just enjoyed this and we hope that it has really given you a different perspective on your life. God is waiting and willing and wanting to use you right where you are. Will you let him? Sure. And uh, will you use what he has given you Uh, to point those that don't know him to Jesus. And so, Jen, as we close, would you just pray just a prayer of of just challenge and that God would embolden everybody listening right now to leverage their life? Absolutely. Let's pray. (laughs) Dear Heavenly Father, faithful Father, Mm -hmm. (laughs) 
secure father, thank you for meeting with us and for coming to our rescue. For my friends today, <laughs> help them to know that this is just the start. Yeah. Wow. This is just the start for something new. This is just the start for them just uh, being a bolder light for you, <laughs> reaching out to the people that they work with or to their communities, <laughs> people that they're walking by in the grocery store. <laughs> there are no limits to you, and I love that, Lord. But as we step out, Lord, as we meet you on the water, <laughs> Fill us with that strength and hem us in from before and behind with your courage. And Lord, we just can't wait to see what you have in store. So Father, I just want to pray that you would boost our confidence as we serve you and that you just uh, fill us with the strength and the courage just to be that light, that bold light, that fearless light for you. Yes. <laughs> we can't wait to see all that you have in store. Thank you once again for coming to our rescue. To your name, Father God. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. Leverage Your Life has concluded yes. <laughs> here, but we want to celebrate with you. And so uh, whatever, wherever God takes you, however he uses you to leverage your life, we want to know. So please just get in contact with us. Let us know. We want to pray yes. for you. We want to yes. celebrate with you and all that God's doing. And so there's a QR code that's in the back of the, of the Leverage Your Life resource. And if you scan that, um, you can follow our ministry. Um, it can help us be able to connect with you. Um, you can get our Leverage Your Life merch. We have uh, shirts and hats there um, that serve as a challenge for you to live this out. So please um, reach out to us. Uh, just let us know if you enjoyed the study and all that God is doing. And please go out and leverage your life for eternity. God bless you. God bless you. God bless.